This game might be a little loud. I should probably fix that before we get too far. Yeah, sorry for starting later than I promised today. I was really hoping to start earlier, but going to the gym and uh, forgetting to make rice kind of threw us off, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, let's see. That should be quiet enough. No, let's let's turn it down to, to 20%. There we go. That, that should be a better volume. Yeah, so Pyro, I'm... Pretty sure you're hoping for EDF tonight. That probably won't happen for a couple days. I want to get through Astroneer and a fair bit of this first. Uh, but it does sound like, um, well, Bird hasn't responded, but Keith said no, so I'm going to assume Bird's going to say no too. Uh, but so we'll probably end up doing uh, EDF in a couple of days. I got to figure out when. Uh, I've got one more new game coming out tomorrow, I believe. Uh, tiny, tiny something or other. I'll, I'd have to check my list. Uh, but once kind of I'm done with all of the, uh, all of my obligations, I'll be able to do EDF. Did I start a new EDF? No, there's a DLC. Uh, two DLC packs for EDF 4, 4.1, uh, that I'd like to go through. And I've, I've been holding out hope that Keith and Bird would be up for it, but they kind of don't care about what I care about anymore. So I'm just doing it on my own and we'll just figure it out. Yes, Tiny Metal, that's the one. Uh, cause that, uh, tiny, tiny metal is, is coming out. So I'm just gonna plunk this over here. What? That statement was a little broad. Yes. I don't care about that particular game, maybe. Eh. Eh. It's a conversation we can have never. Um. Anyway. But yeah, so tiny metal, I think comes out within the next, like, 24 hours. I, I'll have to check the list. Unless they, they, of course, uh, delayed it again, at which point I don't, I don't know what, uh, how it's gonna go. I want to say it was the twenty-first. Yeah, available the twenty-first. Wonder if that's gonna end up being, but uh, I'm looking forward to it, even if it is just an Advanced Wars clone. Okay. Uh, let's see. So do we? Yeah, we'll just go from here. So, what monstrosity have I made here? This is this is a regular functional boat. I should probably save this blueprint, honestly. My designs. Can I can I save one? Cuz there's there's these. How do I save one? Oh, Twitch. Right. I should probably turn this on. Why? Okay, name islands after chat, active chat listing when editing boat names, storms, let chat invoke storms. Okay, so I guess you guys will be able to set storms on me somehow. It'll be interesting. Okay, what else do we have? Sound effects, those are fine. Islands, those are okay. I'm just mostly trying to figure out how to set a blueprint. Oh, 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 huh. We're going to name this one after Pyro. Screw it. We'll go from there. Yeah, so I'm just going to name my boats after uh, random audience members. Okay, so that's that's the Pyro Salamander. Awesome. How do I do just a new boat? New boat. Base piece. Awesome. So let's, uh, let's get going. Okay. Uh, let's see. So this is, this is, why can't I... Pan. Oh, that's how I pan. Okay, so let's... Son of a... <laughs> uh, let's, let's make a big, long boat. Whoa! Huh. Well, that happened. Uh, that was the world's fastest storm, I think. I wonder if storms... Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm streaming this uh, for the first time. I, I was going to stream it from the very beginning, la uh, starting yesterday, but I got the key kind of late in my, my stream process. Can I? Okay. Yes. This is how I rotate. And so I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just, uh, I'll just stream stuff. Let's, let's just plop this down for a second. It's going to be non-functional. I just... Huh. What kind of bullshit buoyancy is this? I guess this boat is too long, or something. Oh, I can save a GIF. 
You have drowned. Oh. I was not aware that you could just straight up drown. Oh yeah, my density is way higher than water. Go figure. Okay, well I'm just gonna stick a couple of these on. I kind of wish uh, similar pieces would carry the same weight. Well, we've got these. Well, here's the question. Can I just stick those on without the uh, without the stability? Probably not. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to regret this. My, my experiences with this game are going to be mostly failure. Uh, but I figure failure is kind of the best educator. Uh, and so eventually I will know how to boat properly. We're still looking at some pretty hefty water density issues. So, yeah, so I'm gonna, if I hit set sail, this thing's still, I think, gonna sink on me. Immediately? Yet, yeah. uh, it's real low in the water. It might be able to sail. Let's, uh, let's go back. I'm just gonna put a big ol' sail on it. And let's try that again. Alright, and we should probably... Whoops, well... Oh, I guess I am pointed the right direction. Huh. I'm kind of surprised this, this functions. Well, I guess as long as we don't capsize, we're gonna be okay. Let's see, try putting the barrels under the plank so you sit higher. Oh, you know that's actually a good point. Okay, well let's head for the Blue Island. I, I'm inevitably going to reconstruct this thing in a very short period of time. It's actually working pretty well. I, I will definitely have to put barrels under planks. That sounds like a that sounds like a really good idea. But uh this actually I wanna say this handles a little bit better than the my last boat. Uh it's a little bit longer and straighter, I could be wrong. See so what are the purple things in the water? They're mana wars. I believe. Let's see. So how's the gameplay of this so far? It's good, if raw. Uh, this game has a lot going for it, but it's also very early access. Uh, so, you know, expect a lot of weird bugs and issues. All right. Well, I can swim, right? I have no idea if I can swim. Uh, the, the running around the world is probably the weakest part of this game, but it's also the part that matters the least. So it's easy for me to not care. Hey, big yellow barrel. We actually need that. Uh, let's see. Just go back here. Okay, so... The long ship design actually works better than I was expecting. I really was expecting uh, a lot more failure, but... Grand scheme of things, it's kind of fine. How do I... There we go. Press X to, uh, to undo. Okay, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna stick some planks off the side here. At various, uh, various spots. And I'm gonna... I might have to brace them. I might, like, I might want to have more. We'll see. Now, I've only got three barrels, so I should probably actually rethink... Rethink this design a little bit. Uh, something like that, or something like that, maybe. Spacing? Yeah, seems reasonable. Or I could move this back one. Move this here. Okay, that's that's evenly spaced. I don't know if evenly spacing things is actually necessary. Uh, it probably makes, like, some, some difference here and there. Oops. Might be a little bit far. Uh, let's see, move this back. Okay, there we go. Yeah, hopefully I can get some more barrels. So is that... Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so that hopefully will make my, my boat stay higher in the water. One thing I will say about this building system, I wish it was more clear... Um, what connection point is, like, currently trying to snap to stuff. Because you pretty much only know if it's if it's green. And which ones are white? Well, I guess there's no easy way to, like, set that, though. Oh, well, not a big deal. Okay. So this... This is either going to fall apart on me immediately, or actually work fairly well. Now, I've still got a fair amount of these planks. Maybe I should... Hmm. 
Maybe not. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to move these up. Ideally, I'd like to actually have uh, short walls around everything so we don't get water on top. But this is okay. And this might actually be a good candidate for two sails. Probably not. I've never made uh, that big of a boat yet. Anyway. So, A and D. So the winds are, winds are going around. We don't want to immediately hit the island. Well. Oh. Hi. Pardon? <laughs> oh, well. Okay. The left forward board is slightly elevated. Oh, shoot. You're right. Uh, it's actually, I think I can... Yes. Okay. There, there we go. Unfortunately, we immediately s sunk. So, I probably want to space out my barrels a little bit better. Luckily, reconfiguring everything. Actually, it's moving a lot around a lot smoother now. Oh, well that snap point isn't as functional. Uh oh, oh, hi. Okay. There we go. Maybe it's like uh you have to click it specifically to get it to work. Well, either way. I think I hope that I hope this will work this time around. Uh, and we should name this a, uh, after somebody. We have a whole hell of a lot of people. As you get a boat. Okay, so let's. Huh? It like immediately breaks. I think. Uh, I think putting it on top of the barrels is actually a no go. It it's very hard to tell because the problem is we don't get to see the boat break the cameras the game's crashed okay the uh i hope it saved the design i mean i just i did just save it okay <laughs> uh let's try this again i i crashed as my boat crashed okay cool so I have everything. Hopefully... Yeah, it just immediately... It immediately splinters. I think... Uh, I, I don't think I can actually have... My... My barrels underneath. I, I think that actually wrecks the game. Maybe if I have some more, like, stable boards, it'll work. But right now, I think all the boards, like, snap off. And then the whole thing just falls apart. Uh, let's see. Ship kind of reminds you of Moana. I can see that. That was a pretty movie. Didn't care for the plot that much, but it was a pretty movie. Okay, let's try this again. Let's, let's get rid of the second sail. Why? This was fine earlier when the barrels were just stuck on the side. Why does it break immediately now? Let's get rid of the sail. It, it just immediately dies. Huh. Gonna be spawning the boat onto land. Uh, no, land's pretty far away. Up. Oh. You're right. I was... Oh, interesting. Yeah, I was spawning it onto land. It just didn't look like it. Because I have to put it way out here for it to even... For it to even stop. I... Welp. Aggers away. Oh, hey, we're good. Sort of. I mean, we're a little low in the water, but I think that's the storm. Okay, so let's let's head for the next uh, beacon. Looks like there's some more stuff out in, out in the fog. I don't think I want to do it. So maybe I do have to move the barrels back because we are we are sitting quite low in the water. Might be the storm, might be any number of things, but at least I can sail. Yeah, I don't know how uh, stability works. This is 
This is one sketchy, sketchy boat. <laughs> it's a submarine. Uh, I, I would actually love to see, like, a, a part set that works uh, submerged, but I'm not entirely sure... I'm not entirely sure if the game uh, would support that yet. Be neat, though. The game has really good music. I want, like, a, a loop music button or, like, a... A really idle track when nothing's going on. Like it already kind of has one when you're building, but I want one for when you're uh, when you're boating around and there's there's no music. Yeah, there's stuff over there, but I don't want to deal with it. Instead, we're going to just dash ourselves against this island. Go from there. I just realized the uh, the main character's head kind of looks like a. Uh, uh, oh. Well, this is fine. Uh... Is it? Where the hell is the island? Where am I? What is what is going on? Okay. I think I can swim this. Oh. Oh, I ran ashore. That's... That's the shallows. Okay. I've discovered the island of Lionheart. Nice. Is this... Oh, that's another eye pole. Okay. Well, as usual, let's just continue around. I might as well take this out. Okay. So seeing as we've learned that I might actually be able to have the barrels. That's not where I want my barrel. I might actually be able to put the, the barrels underneath here. So let's try and do that. Because I would like to I would like to uh, have the boat sitting a little bit higher out of water. I mean, how many of you guys want to go go around in a boat that's, uh, well, two feet underwater at all times? I I think I think there would be uh there'd be questions of uh, effectiveness and concerns. Okay, so let's go around this. Well, it looks like it's working actually. Th this this worked out really well. It's still only a little bit above water, but that's that's a hell of a lot better than what I had. I yeah, can't wait until we get a little bit further out. I mean, it seems like going to that island might be worth it. But I'm going to keep collecting the parts. I want to get the triangular sail so I can uh, sail into the wind. Because currently we are uh, we are at mercy at at the wind's mercy, I guess, just going wind wise. Also, it does not look like the wind's particularly strong out here. I think when it's blue, it means the wind is slow. This game looks so good. It is really pretty. Uh, I've followed... I've been following the artist for this game since I want to say I was a freshman in college. Which was like... Eight years ago? Nine years ago now? Uh, and... So it was... I was... Kind of surprised to find out that he was actually working on games because his style didn't immediately uh, imply that. But like, I think I think the prior to this they made Elegy for a Dead World. I could be wrong. Let's see, is there a gamma setting for night? You know, I should probably take a look at that because it is actually that that's a that's a good point that I should probably focus on. All right, let's dash our boat against the rocks again as usual. If I have infinite parts and my boat will never stay permanently broken, who cares if it runs aground? Wee! Alright. So we have an eel plank. Let's fix my boat. This is really, really cheesy of me. Eel plank. Have you ever tried grabbing an eel with your bare hands? Neither have I. That's amusing. Okay, so we're, can I, can I like put this up here somewhere? There we go. <laughs> what does it do? Nothing. Why did I do it? Because. Uh, let's see, the other question to ask would be like, could I get my sail? I can get my sail up there, but I can't get it off the top. Oh. No, there are no, there are no um, snap points off the top of this. <laughs> oh. Well, that wasn't fully intentional. Uh... I don't think this is fitted for this, but I'm going to do it anyway because I want to see what happens to the character model. 
as we go along. Because I can only imagine it's going to go poorly for me. Huh. Adventure! <laughs> These uh, clipping issues are kind of magic. I wonder if Man of Wars are particularly dangerous, or if they're just kind of, well... We have seemed to have developed a bit of a convertible here. And a storm has been invoked. Well, that's worrying. Um, it gets real dark during storms, and is gone, and what I, uh... uh thanks, pancakes. <laughs> yep. Back we go. Uh, it's, let's let's get rid of the uh, the dumb roof. It is a dumb roof. St I feel like storms are almost kind of just the audience's uh, destroy everything button. They don't they don't come on like a storm would. They just show up and uh, toss your boat either into the depths of the sea or straight up into the sky. <laughs> It looks like the Mana Wars don't really give a dang. They're just kind of like weird buoys. But yes, you can only invoke a storm every five minutes. So, make it count? Or not. I mean, oh well. Really look. Ow! I was gonna say I really love the night sky, but I guess when you get to see the full, full, uh... The full view of the night sky, it is blinding. I hope they fix that, actually. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to see the, the storm thing actually, like, roll in. And, uh... And be, like, something you can see coming and, like, avoid. It seems like it's just... It's like, uh, summoning Big, Big Daddy in Age of Empires. It's just there. All of a sudden, there's no preamble, but when it's there, I mean, the, the game's not gonna change. Uh... Made the mistake of trying to record a competitive episode of Age of Empires once. Turns out the guy that I was playing against, who had bought me the game, was like, Yeah, I've, I've never played before. He was lying through his teeth. Um, and then he also... Okay, I, I can swim. He he was uh, lying that he'd never played before. He was also lying uh, about the fact that uh, he had, you know, not said any... Ooh, hello. Final pieces to get Zaggy. And I get a square base. Neat. Uh... Oh, it is showing me the map. Unfortunately, I have, to, I have to get the next chime to really see what's going on. But yeah, uh, he more or less balanced the game entirely in his favor and turned on cheat codes. Uh, that was the last time I've ever played an Age Vampires game. I don't really like competitive RTSs anyway. Okay. Oh, did I never get the part down here? I didn't. What is this? Another eye pole for the Ziggy. Can I... There we go. Okay, so so far, I'm liking the Azerath. It's a, it's a, it's a good boat. It's kind of only a little sinky, but that's okay. Uh, we got the, our next chime. We probably want to expand the map. But you know what? Let's let's make a new boat for a, for a second. I'm feeling uh, adventurous. Okay, let's let's get the small sail up in this. And barrels. Is that? Yeah, that's probably fine. Uh, let's see. There we go. I think this is the first boat I ever made. Badly. This time, I understand buoyancy. No, I don't. What am I doing? Is it gonna sink on me? No. All right, we have the the world's smallest ship, and it is <laughs> a problem. <laughs> okay, so it, it has to be longer. I can't, I can't make something this small because it immediately. Can I just like toss that over there for a second? Cool. Let's do two segments, I think. And yeah, maybe if I had a, uh... Maybe if I had a smaller sail to work with, it'd be fine, but I don't. 
Now, can I move this back? Sort of, yeah. Eh, this might be better. Yeah, actually, we probably want uh, frontal buoyancy, considering how the, the sail is going to push it. Uh, and I'll put the sail in the middle. Okay, let's try Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny. All right, it's a little bit a little bit smaller. I don't know if it's uh, more maneuverable or anything like that, but that's okay. Sounds like Wander needs to watch an episode of Magic School Bus on how to make things float. No. No, I think I'm good. I understand how buoyancy works. It's just buoyancy with the added effect of a sail gets gets to be a problem. I, I, before this series is done, I want to make a micro boat. Like, I want to make it real small. I want to make it, like, almost uselessly small, except for the fact that it somehow works. Like, if I could have a sail that comes off, like, both sides, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, let's keep grabbing, grabbing the pieces around. I almost wish I could turn off the, uh, the big blue beacons. I wonder if I could. Just because this game's, like... Yeah. I actually really want to be able to turn off the UI in general. Oh. Son of a... Okay, there we go. We got it. We're here. It'd be nice if I could turn off the AI. Oh, not the AI. Ah, the UI. And we have the, uh, we have the Ziggy. As an available boat. Uh, let's say not now to that. I think I've got the blueprint. Tried to nuke me right at the very end. Okay, well, we're gonna just name this one after Jemroth. And then I'm gonna make a new, <laughs> new boat. Alright, blueprints. Ziggy. Build. Oh, terrible gem. Okay, this gets to be the Jemroth. As that is a pro uh, an appropriate thing. Okay, so I actually have no idea how to work with this sail. W S. It's not really working. Like, it feels like... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's moving. Oh, there we go. Hi. Okay. I think I lost... I think I lost my... I think my boat... Yeah, I think I lost access to my, uh... My sail. Let's go back for a second. Yeah, I think I think it snapped. Like, there's something wrong with the rope. I'm gonna get rid of the, the top bit. I don't think that if... I don't think that was actually helping me. It might have been. But it looked like the, the rope had, like, snapped. But I, I don't know. Yeah. I want to like the small sail, but I don't actually know if I can get it to work. Because you can... I'm going to put it a fair bit out. Hi, thank you. I'm here now. Yeah, because I can't... I more or less can't... Uh... Okay, there, there it goes. And then immediately... Why? Yeah, it looks like we just go until it snaps, maybe? Because it's not... It doesn't hold firm. Well, it's not supposed to hold firm, necessarily. But it just... It just starts, uh... Losing its shit real quick.
which is really funny, <laughs> but also a serious problem. All right, well let's let's see if we can get to this island over here with this. Yeah, it could be a graphical glitch. I don't I don't know, but like I feel like I have no control over this thing. Like I'm I'm trying to tighten it down. But the rope won't stay in position. This poor man of war is really confused. Okay. Well, I think I'm getting a basic mastery of how it works. It's just like visually between not knowing how to sail very well myself and the fact that like I can't tell if I'm like tightening it or loosening it or anything like that. It's just like, well, screw it. I actually it seems like I kind of got it. The true test will be turning around and trying to sail this thing backwards. Uh well not backwards, but uh against the wind. Well, now we have a uh man of war on both arms. Sure, why not? What happens when I sail into the storm? Game does not like it. That's for certain. Yeah, I'm not supposed to do this. But I figure I could probably get to this without too many issues. We're right here. And people are already trying to invoke storm on me. No. I wonder how far far in this game you can just swim to. See ya. 